The PM5 on a Concept2 is fantastic for many reasons, but one of them is that if you have an iPhone, you can use one of these to put your iPhone on top of the monitor. Or if you have an iPad, you can use one of these from Lucian Deppold to put your iPad on top of the monitor. Or you can get the Concept2 model that sits it underneath. However, what if you have one of these lying around spare? How do you put this on your rowing machine? The answer, well, it's with a whole bunch of 3D printed plastic. There's a guy called Andrew Kelly who got in touch and said that he designed a way to put a big TV right in front of you and he sent me his mount to give it a test and show it off to you folks. So, if you want to see the exact step-by-step -step of how to do this, then there is a video that he has, which I will link to in the description, and you can go and watch from there. But I'll still try and show you enough of it, all right? So, the first thing we have to do is actually remove the monitor and the monitor arm. Okay, so to remove this, Basically, just need a couple of spanners. I'm a great fan of an adjustable spanner. I'm sure there's a number. Someone would tell me, you need a number 13 spanner or something in order to, for this to work. However, I do love an adjustable spanner. So undo one side, pull it through, unplug the cable, which uh, you should probably do first because that's been that almost fell off. That would have been a bad thing to happen. Thread it through and then put the monitor and its arm to one side nice and safe and sound. Now the next thing you have to do is these two uh, bolts, where well, that one and that one, yep, you have to take them out as well. And for that, you need a spanner and a hex screwdriver. Now I got this when I bought my ski erg, and this also fits the side of the Model D. Do check, make sure it is actually a hex on the side of your machine, just in case it's something particular to mine, but you are gonna need one of them in order to undo these, okay? So, um, that might be a deal breaker if you don't have one and you don't want to buy any tools, but who doesn't want to buy any tools? Um, so, there you go, so the spanner goes in place, undo this, okay, so that's me, I've got both of them, leave them there for the time being. So now that you've got your nuts and bolts out, it's time to start attaching little bits of the mount. And the first one to attach is this kind of long piece. Now you can see that there's two kind of rectangular holes on the side your nuts that you just took off slide into those rectangular holes and then what that means is that you can put it on sideways back onto where it was on onto what you just kind of took stuff off and it's going to mount this piece sideways on the side so basically it all kind of goes in it's quite a clever design to be honest um and so what you're doing now is instead of the the uh bolts yeah going from the outside in you're now pushing them from the inside out which kind of makes sense. But the downside to that is that there isn't much room to maneuver on the inside. So unless you have a right angled hex screwdriver or, whoops, just drop one of them, um, a torque wrench, which is right angled like me, then what you might need to do is remove the screw on the other side of the drum uh, in order to be able put, to poke a screwdriver through in order to tighten things up. So again, if, you're, if that's a bit confusing, check out the video in the description. I'm gonna do this this way, but I'm gonna have to turn around and I don't really want you to stare at my backside for the next three minutes. So I'm gonna cut to it almost done, all right? Okay, so I fed everything through. I've got it basically finger tight and then I'm just gonna use my torque wrench to just tighten things up a little bit more to make sure it's secure. After all, you wanna make sure it's tight. Now this part here, is only going to be holding your PM5 afterwards. So it doesn't have to be tight tight, but at the same time, you don't want it to be loose. Okay, so this is it, nicely attached on the side. So now we can get to the mount for the actual monitor itself, back to the other side of the machine. Okay, so for this, what we're going to use is this part, and we're then going to use the nut and bolt from the main arm that we've already taken off. Okay, so you should recognize this. If you don't, you've probably lost it. That's a bit of a worry. <laughs> so uh, it goes with uh, the Erg Emporium logo facing you when you're on the machine. So slot it into place and then feed through the bolt. The nut sits on the side and then get your two spanners. Try not to be cack handed when it comes to using an adjustable spanner. That's a good idea. Okay, that's nice and tight on there. It kind of locks itself into position anyway. It's now time to look at attaching the monitor to the arm. And for that, we need two things. 
We need this piece of plastic, hi yeah, and we need a screwdriver that's kind of relatively small. Because there are four screws on the back of this, there are four holes on here. And funnily enough, the screws go into the holes. So you just offer up to the side and start screwing. Again, let's speed this bit up. A good tip here is that the Erg Emporium logo should be at the top, okay? It does matter, trust me. I've just tried to put it on the wrong way around. It didn't work. <laughs> Done. Okay then, so the next thing is to prepare the monitor. Now, um, let me get over. Hi. So, luckily, my monitor comes with the four screws on the back. Not all monitors will come with the screws, so you're gonna, you may have to look at trying to work out what ones fit. But in my case, I need to take these off, and I also need to take the base off as well. So that's another quick cut. Don't you just hate it when you get a screwdriver that just rounds the screw instead of actually coming out? <sighs> right, let's see if one of these works. Oh, that's better. There we go, so that's the base off this, and this is now ready to go on this. So, make sure your screws are all to hand, because you might be able to finger tighten them, you might need a screwdriver, but just make sure everything's here, because otherwise you do the dance of the screw, all right? Now, uh, most monitors will come with either a 10 centimeter, or, or I think it's a seven and a half centimeter square mount. Luckily, this arm has both. It looks like this is the 10 centimeter mount, so I can just go ahead and start putting in screws. Okay, I'm gonna tighten up the screws properly later, but I just wanna show you, that is it. The monitor is now firmly on the front of the machine, and it's level, and it's basically there. In fact, where's my, where's my phone? And I'll take, uh, I'll take a photo of it for you. Ta-da, so that's it, right there in the front. So the last thing then, I'm sure you're sitting there thinking, well, what about my PM5? Well, there's two solutions to this. The first one was to remove the entire back of your PM5, and then you kind of use this plate, and then this is what you've attached the thing on the side for. However, he's changed the design, and now you basically just replace the battery cover on the back of your PM5. So, back to our spanner, and remove the nut and bolt that's holding the PM5 onto the original arm. Now, you don't need your original arm anymore, however, there's a good chance you're gonna either sell the machine or maybe your monitor breaks or whatever, so don't throw this away, okay? That would be a silly thing to do. <laughs> so put the bolt back in again, because that way you're not gonna lose it, and put this somewhere safe. Next thing then, take the battery compartment cover off the back of your PM5. Try not to drop on the floor. Put the new one provided by Ergomporium on the back. Make sure it's in. You could always change your batteries at the time. Make sure you do a little check, see, where's the time for a battery change? I've got the back open anyway. And down the side of the battery cover that you've just replaced is a little groove, a little lip, and that's what this part's for. So you just line them up, if I can do this upside down, slot it down, and that's it, the PM5 is now sitting underneath. In fact, I'll take another photo. And so the PM5 sits underneath. Now, this might not be perfect for people who really wanna make sure that their data is in front of them, but this might be what you're using to have like Exa running or something like that. So you're gonna see your metrics in front. And if you, you've got Netflix on there, I mean, your data's only under here. So the last thing that you have to do, obviously, let's go around to the front of the machine. Hi, so grab your cable, plug it underneath the PM5 to get it in there and make sure to run your cable properly, tidy it up because you don't want to have any dangling cables that get in the way of the chain. Back to the other side of the machine. So that's it, the monitor's in place, the PM5 is underneath, it's all connected up and so the last things you have to do is run power to your monitor, making sure to have a tidy cable and then work out how you're going to get something on here, whether it's going to be a fire stick, whether it's actually a TV you've mounted yourself or in my case, I've got an iPhone that I'll then just then send an HDMI signal into this and I'll run Exa or whatever on it. So it's gonna be fantastic. In fact, I'm gonna use it tomorrow morning on the Rise and Row with Row Along Group Row on the Exa app. Uh, and I'm hoping that loads of people are gonna say, what's that in front of you? So 
That's it, make sure and check out the Erg Emporium on Etsy in order to buy one of these. It's not cheap, <laughs> but when you're mounting a television on the front of your rowing machine, you don't really want to be cheaping out on something like that. So make sure and check out Erg Emporium, uh, check out the installation video that he has. Feel free to get in touch with me if you've got any questions, either how to install it or what you think about it, all that kind of stuff. Just leave me a comment below and I'll make sure and answer. And remember, check out the live row on April the 7th in order to see this in action and to be honest if it works as well as I hope it does it's probably going to be a permanent feature on my concept too anyway so you'll probably see it a lot more thank you so much for watching this video like I say make sure and check out Ergo Emporium on Etsy and get one of these if this is the kind of thing you want to do and of course make sure and check out all my row along workouts up here on YouTube and imagine them on a screen that size it'd be amazing all right take care be well bye bye